Hello everybody and welcome to my WinUAE guide. Today we're going to be looking at MIDI, so this one is for musicians. So I've got WinUAE loaded up and externally I have a MIDI keyboard plugged in. So this is plugged in via USB and we're going to be using a program called Bars and Pipes to play some MIDI files and input MIDI commands from the keyboard into WinUAE. I'm just going to show you my quick setup. So I'm using a Amiga 1200 setup and I've basically got a hard drive that's got Amiga Workbench 3.2 installed on it. You don't have to have 3.2, you can do this with 3.1 as well. The important things to set up your MIDI uh, setup in WinUAE is that we need to go to the host area, we need to go to IO ports, and then we're looking for the MIDI area. So if you're familiar with MIDI, basically there's in and out for MIDI. We have got a couple of options. So I've got a MIDI keyboard uh, that's plugged in at the moment. So the Axiom 61. Now I can route the MIDI signals to go out and into that keyboard. And if I've got a dedicated sound module, something external that plays sound, I'd be choosing that option. But for today, what I'm going to be doing is just using the Windows built-in general MIDI wavetable synth. If you have got a MIDI keyboard, uh, then you go to the in here and then select that USB Axiom 61 or whatever your keyboard's called. Let's boot up the Amiga. Okay, so with the Amiga booted up, you can see that I've got bars and pipes professional already installed on here. You can grab it off of the EAB FTP website. And then this is the interface for bars and pipes. So there's a demo track on here that we can load up just to make sure that everything's working. So if we right click, go to song and then open. Uh, let's go to work where the installation is. Bars and pipes professional. Under example songs, you've got the Brandenburg Concerto. So uh, Brandenburg demo, so we click load and you'll see that that's all loaded up because you've got all of these, not waveforms, but uh, MIDI notes showing. So we've got seven tracks here. So we've got like a little ensemble here. If I hit play, uh, we'll start to hear notes. Now, these notes aren't actually inside of the Amiga. Remember, we are using the wavetable synth within Windows, so we'll be hearing Windows play the music. There we go. Pretty cool, isn't it? So, Let's try making our own track and recording some MIDI. So then if I just move everything to one side so I can get to the MIDI keyboard. There we go, that's me playing on the keyboard. So we can then hit record, then play. Does the counting. And there we go, there's that data. So we can rewind it all the way back to the beginning. Nowhere in time, and I can play much better than that in real life, don't worry. Um, so yeah, this is a basic demo really of MIDI um, within the Amiga. So I hope you found this useful. Um, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And why not check out some of my other content that I do in my WinUAE series as well. Uh, if you would like to support me, then check out Coffee, uh, where you can donate any amount you want. It can be monthly or just a one-off payment. That will just help me, you know, just buy a coffee and uh, show your appreciation. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.